everybody, and welcome to the Wealth Guard Show. I'm your host, Tom White. A short week coming up in the bond market, but the stock market's going to be open. We'll take a look at that here at our economic mechanics. And we'll begin with the U.S. dollar. And on the daily chart of the U.S. dollar, down below 0.1, the stochastics are falling from overbought territory, and they're declining rapidly. We gave this one a red mark. And above that, point number two, we got confirmation of the decline in the stochastics by the MACDs when the green line crossed over the red, and the histogram bars have dropped below zero. We gave this one a red mark. And up top, relative strength index was challenging that 70 line. It's failed, and now it's falling to the 50 line, challenging there. This time, we gave it a red mark. And on the weekly chart, down below 0.1, the stochastics are giving us a bearish signal here, and if they fall before, below 80, we're going to give it a red mark, but for now we gave it a yellow. Above that, point number two, we've got some weakness here in the MACDs, and the histogram bars are starting to top off. We gave this one a yellow mark. And up top, relative strength index has bounced off the 70 line. It's in decline. We gave it a yellow mark. And summing up the U.S. dollar, we analyzed daily chart and the weekly chart. On the daily chart, we found the stochastics, MACDs, and relative strength index are all negative, and we gave them a red mark. On the weekly chart, we found the stochastics, MACDs, and relative strength index were all neutral. We gave those a yellow mark. For a total, we had three red marks, three yellow marks, and zero green marks for the U.S. dollar. Things are starting to look like they're turning around and getting weaker in the U.S. dollar, and that should help the commodities. And we take a look now at the commodities represented by the CRB index. And a look at the daily chart of the commodities. Down below point number one, the stochastics gave us a bullish signal in oversold territory, and they've been rising. Approaching the 50 line now, we gave it a green mark. And above that point number two, the confirmation is there by the MACDs. The green line crossed the red, giving us a, a bullish signal. And the histogram bars have lifted above the zero line. We gave this one a green mark. And up top, the relative strength index is challenging the 50 line. It's in an uptrend. We gave this one a green mark. It looks like the things are turning around here in the commodities as we're seeing that weakness in the dollar. And over on the weekly chart, down below point number one, the stochastics are giving us a bullish signal in oversold territory. We gave it a yellow mark. And above that, point number two, the MACDs are settling in, and the histogram bars, they're starting to move up a little higher toward the zero line. We gave this one a yellow mark. And up top, relative strength index has bounced off the 30 line, so we gave this one a yellow mark too. And summing up the commodities, we analyze daily chart and the weekly chart. On the daily chart, the stochastics and MACDs, relative strength index, they were all positive, and we gave them a green mark. And over on the weekly chart, stochastics, MACDs, relative strength index were all neutral, gave those yellow marks. For a total, we had zero red marks, three yellow marks, and three green marks for the commodities. And you can really start to see the inverse relationship here between the commodities and the U.S. dollar. And since commodities and treasury yields move in the same direction, we should expect that interest rates are confirming the commodities. And we'll take a look now at our 10-year treasury yield. And a look at the daily chart of the 10-year treasury yield down below. Point number one, the stochastics gave us a bullish signal, and they've beaten the 50 line, so we like that and gave it a green mark. And above that, point number two, the MACDs are confirming that as they're ascending higher, and the histogram bars are lifting up too, so we gave this one a green mark. And up top, point number three, the relative strength index has crossed that 50 line. It's lifting higher. We gave this one a green mark too. And a look now at the weekly chart. Down below point one, we got a bullish signal on those stochastics, but they're still way under the 20 line, so we gave it a yellow mark for now. Above that, point number two, looks like the MACDs are settling in there, and the green line is uh, converging in on that red. That would be bullish. And the histogram bars are lifting higher to, toward the zero line, so we gave this one a yellow mark. And up top, point number three, the relative strength index has crossed that 30 line here. We like that. It's lifting up toward that 50. We gave this one a green mark. And summing up the 10-year treasury yield, we analyzed daily chart and weekly chart. On the daily chart, we found the stochastics, MACDs, and relative strength index were all bullish. We gave them a green mark. On the weekly chart, stochastics and MACDs were neutral. We gave those a yellow mark. Relative strength index was bullish. They looked strong. We gave them a green mark. For a total, we had zero red marks, two yellow marks, and four green marks for the 10-year treasury yield. And again, you can see that the 10-year treasury yields and the commodities, they move in the same direction. 
And we take a look now at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And a look at the daily chart of the Dow Jones. Down below point number one, the stochastics are looking strong. We've got a bullish signal in there. Across the 50 line, approaching the 80 line. Uh, it's looking like nothing's getting in this way. We gave it a green mark. Above that point number two, the stochastics are being confirmed by those MACDs. The green line's crossing in red. And the histogram bars are lifting up higher too, so we gave this one a green mark. And up top, point number three, relative strength index beating that 50 line. It's heading up towards the 70. We gave this one a green mark too. And over on the weekly chart, down below point number one, the stochastics are giving us a bullish signal above the 20 line, but we want to see a greater move than this, so for now we gave it a yellow mark. Above that point number two, the MACDs are converging, and the histogram bar is moving toward the zero line, so we gave this one a yellow mark. Up top, the relative strength index is approaching the 50 line. Till it beats the 50 line, we gave this one a yellow mark. And summing up Dow Jones, we analyzed daily chart and weekly chart. On the daily chart, we found the stochastics, MACDs, relative strength index were all bullish, and we gave them a green mark. On the weekly chart, the stochastics, MACDs, and relative strength index were all neutral, and we gave those yellow marks. For a total, we had zero red marks, three yellow marks, and three green marks for the Dow Jones. Looks like things are starting to turn around a little bit for the Dow Jones, but it's going to take a little bit more than this to prove to us that we uh, are going to see the end of the volatility, because I don't think we have. And so we've been coming up with scores for the U.S. dollar, the commodities, the 10-year treasury yield, and the Dow Jones, looking for where the strengths are and where the weaknesses lie. We did that by weighing the number of positives against the number of negatives and coming to a conclusion that way. And this week, in first place, 10-year treasury yield. we got four green marks, two yellow marks, and zero, green, zero red marks. And in second place, we had a tie. It's Dow Jones Industrial Average tied with the commodities, CRV index. We had three green marks, three yellow marks, with three red, uh, zero red marks. And on the U.S. dollar, it came in last place, zero green marks, three yellow marks, with three red marks. Looks like we're seeing the confirmation here in the U.S. dollar and the commodities as they're moving in the opposite direction. And we got confirmation of that move by the commodities and the 10-year treasury yield as they're moving in the same direction. Now, interest rates are moving a little bit higher, but doesn't mean it's going to put pressure on a Dow Jones as of yet. Still, interest rates are very low, historically. And we look now at our market gauge. The object here is to be as far in the right column in bullish territory as possible and as far away from the left column in bearish territory. This week, in first place, we said it was a 10-year treasury yield as interest rates are moving up higher as 10-year treasuries are selling off. And second place is the commodities, which is the CRB index tied with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That came in uh, three neutral marks and three bullish marks. That's moving up into bullish territory on daily charts. Looking like we got some improvement there over the past few weeks. That's encouraging. And in last place this week, it's the U.S. dollar. It's falling from first place. It's been the uh, place to be for the past several weeks, and it's moving into bearish territory. We're getting some negative indicators here on the short-term charts. Going to watch out for that closely here. We don't know if that's going to take a longer-term uh, reversal here. It just may. Tune in next week when we'll do it again. But for now, I'm out of here.